You need to review details about an employee's time card from the previous pay period. After logging on, you'll be taken to your default view. The exact view you see will depend on how your organization has set up your navigator. In this scenario, the default view shows the Reconcile Time Card widget. In the Show field, make sure that All Home is selected. From the Time Period drop-down list, select Previous Pay Period. Right-click on the employee whose time card you wish to view, and then select Time Card. You are now working in the employee's time card. You can review the information and make any necessary edits. That completes this exercise. When you're ready to exit, close your browser window by clicking X in the upper right corner. Multiple employees have time card issues you want to review. Use the Reconcile Time Card Genie to perform this task. In the Show field of the Reconcile Time Card Genie, make sure that All Home is selected. From the Time Period drop-down list, select Previous Pay Period. Click the Unexcused Absence column header twice to sort employees in descending order. To select all of the employees with unexcused absences, click the first employee in the list, hold down the Shift key, and then choose the last employee in the list. Right-click on the group of highlighted employees and then select Time Card. The first selected employee's time card opens. Click Next Employee to move to the time card for the next selected employee. Click Previous Employee to move back to the previous employee in the list. Click Next Employee two times to move to the time card for that employee. Hover over Monday's exception to display the description in a tooltip. After reviewing the time cards, click the Back to Reconcile Time Card left-facing arrow to return to the Reconcile Time Card Genie. You have reviewed employee time cards. That completes this exercise. When you're ready to exit, close your browser window by clicking X in the upper right corner. You want to run several time card reports on a specific employee. Use the Quick Find Genie to find and select that employee. In the Manage My Department workspace, expand the Related Items pane. Click the Quick Find widget. In the Name or ID field, enter the last name of the employee that you need to find, and then click Find. Right-click the employee, and then select Reports. Now, when you run a report, 
The data will be in reference to the selected employee. That completes this exercise. When you're ready to exit, close your browser window by clicking X in the upper right corner. You want to view all employees that have unexcused absences for the previous pay period without logging in to Workforce Central. Use the Workforce Worksheet feature in Excel 2007 to perform this task. From a blank worksheet in Microsoft Excel 2007, click the Kronos tab. On the Kronos ribbon, click Data Source. On the Data Source tab, select the Genie Radio button. From the Genie Name drop-down list, select Reconcile Time Card. Verify that All Home appears in the Hyperfine drop-down list. From the Period drop-down list, select Previous Pay Period. Click Go to review the contents of the Genie. The Genie data displays in Microsoft Excel 2007. That completes this exercise. When you're ready to exit, close your browser window by clicking X. In you want to review information for employees whose worked hours deviated from their scheduled hours for the previous pay period. Use the Work and Absence Summary Calendar to identify these patterns. In the Manage My Department workspace, expand the Related Items pane. Click Work and Absence Summary. In the Show field, make sure that All Home is selected. From the Name and ID drop-down list, select the employee that you need to view. From the Time Period drop-down list, select Previous Pay Period. Make sure that the View With option is set to Month. Click Apply. Click Legend. Using the legend, review the information in the calendar. For example, note that the red boxes on certain days of the week indicate missed punches on those days. When finished reviewing the legend, click OK. You have reviewed the Work and Absence Summary Calendar. That completes this exercise. When you're ready to exit, 